Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Senior Vice President Vic Gandotra. Well, good morning and hello. And on behalf of Google, let me extend our warmest welcome to the 6,000 of you here in attendance, as well as the over 40,000 who've joined us in 440 viewing parties across 90 countries worldwide, and to the over 1 million who are watching live on YouTube right now. Welcome to the sixth annual Google I.O. You know, our, our platform and services teams have worked incredibly hard to get to this point, and I hope you're going to be delighted by some of the surprises we have in store for you this morning. But as that opening video showed, it's really not about us. It's about you, developers, who are building the most amazing and magical experiences that make those platforms and service come alive. So when we say thank you, please sincerely, your support, your enthusiasm, your building of apps for our platform and services um, has been deeply appreciated. And we hope that the things that you'll see at this conference will continue to inspire you and that we at Google will continue to earn your trust. So with that, let's get this keynote started. Please join me in welcoming my friend Sundar Pichai. Thank you, Vic. Uh, it's incredibly exciting to be here. Uh, welcome to Google I.O. I think we are in the middle of one of the most pivotal moments in personal computing. Uh, we are going through one of the most innovative phases in personal computing. Most of you in this audience have lived through the PC revolution, an incredibly important revolution in our lifetime. It started around 1980, but if you take a look back for over 25 years, most people in the world used one operating system, which was Windows. And in terms of hardware form factors, it evolved from desktops to laptops over a long period of time. But fast forward to about seven years ago, with the advent of smartphone, there's been an explosion of devices, phones and tablets, and increasingly newer types of devices. People are adopting these devices at an amazing pace because it has a profound impact on their day-to-day -day lives. Nothing captures this moment as the picture behind me. These are two pictures in the same location in St. Peter's Basilica. The one on the left is the funeral of Pope John Paul II. The one on the right is the announcement of the new Pope, Francis, recently. For sure, different moments. The one on the left is more somber, but you can see there is one person way ahead of their time with a clamshell phone trying to take a picture. <laughs> but you look at the one on the right, a sea of phones capturing that moment. The world has changed pretty dramatically just in a span of six to seven years. Increasingly, people are using many, many different types of computing devices. It's not just desktops, phones, and laptops anymore. It's watch with displays. It's thermostats with displays. Maybe a car console has a display, and maybe something like Google Glass. When you look at all these computing devices, it's a multi-screen world. These are all smart displays with a lot of computing power in them. In addition to that, they have sensors. They can listen, they can feel, they can hear, and the amount of computing power in these screens is incredible and usable and uses are really adopting these computing devices. We at Google are incredibly excited. This is why we view this as one of the most important moments in computing, and we are working very, very hard to continue this journey forward. The reason is, at the heart of this journey is the impact we can have on people around the world. That's what this journey of personal computing is about for us. We are very, very fortunate at Google to have two platforms two large open platforms, 
to fast-growing platforms, to scalable platforms completely designed for developers like you to build amazing experiences. Android and Chrome. Android started with a simple goal of bringing open standards to the mobile industry. Today, it is the most popular mobile operating system in the world. Chrome, again, started as a simple journey to make the web much better, both as a platform for developers and as an experience for users. The goal was to design a simpler, safer, and faster browser. And today, it is the most popular browser used in the world. Android and Chrome, as I said earlier, are really designed for people to build amazing experiences on top. We at Google are working hard on top of these platforms. We call this the best of Google. We are building products like Search, Maps, YouTube, Google Now, and many more new things which you will hear about later today. So we are working hard on top of these platforms to push the journey of computing forward. But what really excites us is that developers like you can build thousands of third-party applications, great applications which really make a difference on top of Android and Chrome. And that's what a lot of this keynote is about. What are we doing on top of these platforms so that you can continue doing the great work you do? With that, let's get started. We're going to talk about Android. So two years ago, we announced we had, and a year ago,